everybody, welcome to the Waldoc Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. I'm Kevin. And today's video is a learning on location at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in Florida. So we recently had the opportunity to go to Clearwater and visit the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, which is home of the famous Winter and Hope Dolphins from Dolphin Tale 1 and 2. You going to show us your dolphins? While we were there, we saw a few amazing sea animals. What all did we see, Emily? We saw turtles, stingrays, dolphins, and otters. And you can't forget about Rufus, the pelican. And how could you forget about Thelma, the shark that you had such an awesome experience with? So I got in a raft with the trainer. And I went to the water and Thelma's steak, and I fed her clams, and she made like this noise that kind of scared me. It was really fun to do. And then um, I also touched her, and what we did was we tapped her twice on her back to tell her good job. And what we did is we put her hands in like an X, and then we undid them to tell the training session was over. So you yep. were able to feed her and touch her and help train her, right? Yes. Did you have a good time doing that? I did. Yeah? So that was your favorite part of the trip, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, Kevin. So if that was her favorite part, what was your favorite part? Mine had to be, hands down, the otters. Uh, we got to watch them, train them, feed them. They did uh, all kinds of different things with moving them from one enclosure to another. Uh, I got to talk to one of the trainers and ask questions um, on how they came to be at the aquarium. And I learned a little bit more about otters. So I still had the fascination with them and I think it's growing. What about you? What was your favorite part? So my favorite part was the wildlife boat tour. Now that wasn't included with admission, much like the shark experience, it was something extra in cost, but I think it was really worth it. So we were able to go out on a boat in the Clearwater Bay as well as the Gulf. And we saw a bird sanctuary. It was like an island 
and um, there's actually a fee if a person steps foot on it. So people are not allowed to go on this island. It's just this really awesome, very large man-made bird sanctuary. also went hunting for a dolphin in the wild and we were able to find one and that was a really cool experience but I actually think while all of that was really fun my favorite part was Emily because when the captain went full speed on the boat the grin that she had from ear to ear was just irreplaceable it was something that just made my mama heart yeah, flutter. It was pretty priceless. That was it was fun. wasn't it? Yeah. Did you enjoy that? It was so much fun. It was like zoom. It was like a roller coaster. <laughs> and with the waves, it made it even better. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it was nice. I liked it. And since this series is called Learning on Location, we're going to take a minute to tell you something that each of us learned while we were learning on location at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Emily, what's one thing you learned? I learned that nurse sharks feel like sandpaper and you feed them every other day. Can we feed you like that? No. <laughs> we would save a lot of money, are you sure? No. <laughs> You're not feeding me like that. Okay, Kevin, what's one thing you learned? Um, I think I learned something pretty important, something that I never thought about. Um, being that I've always lived in Florida, near the coast, um, they explained that if you were to come across and find a beached animal, like a whale, a dolphin, um, their recommendation is to fight the urge to try to save it and release it back into it or put it back into the ocean. They recommend calling 911 or FWC, um, having the professionals come out and remove the animal and take it somewhere so it can be examined because what they're explaining is sometimes when these animals beach themselves, it's for a specific reason. They're in distress. There's some type of problem. And if the professionals are able to diagnose what the problem is and treat it, then at a later date, they can release the animal and the and will be 100%. So what did you learn at the aquarium? One thing that I actually learned while we were doing the shark experience because we got to go into the kitchen and actually help prepare the food for Thelma, who only eats every other day, is that they feed each of the animals a very specific diet per species and per which animal it is. And that they also only feed them premium food. So if there is a fish that's missing an eye or its tail is messed up or it's missing a flipper or a fin or something scale, I mean, very little minute things that are wrong with it, they will actually not feed it to the animals. So they feed them a very premium diet. And I thought that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. 